What's going on guys? So we're gonna do a quick update on a few of the stocks that I've been making videos on. I know a lot of you guys are following, kind of wondering what's going on with the price. You guys are, you know, trying to trying to technically figure out, you know, the best potential scenarios so you can uh, make some money and or uh, get out of the trade and or get into the trade. So with that being said, we're gonna take a look at SoFi, we're gonna take a look at FUBU, we're gonna take a look at Jivo and Skills, as well as the IWM, which is the small caps. So with that being said, not much to report, okay? Again, let me, I should probably start off by getting into the IWM first. IWM, as we know, if you've been following my videos, we've been in this massive trading range, right? Up and down and up and down and up and down for over a year, okay? With that being said, we did have this initial breakout here all the way up to $244, complete false breakout, okay? This is a definition of a false breakout, okay? Any time breakout, um, any time we have a false breakout, you can expect the move to crash all the way back down to the bottom support, okay? Not all the time but majority of the time it tends to happen. So if we just kind of zoom in here and kind of look at what this chart's been doing, low range here of 208, high range here of around 230, 235. You can see now current stock price close today around $216. We were down $1.62 on the day, uh, just shy of a percentage point. So with that being said, if I kind of zoom in here on the small caps and IWM, you know, we came off this lower Bollinger Band here. We get one initial push higher. We get a second initial push higher. Yesterday, I think we were up a point, uh, 1% on the IWM. And there was a lot of small caps that were moving 5%, 6%. A lot of the stocks that you guys may be holding, you know, you may have noticed yesterday, they went up. Why did they go up? Well, you had the IWM come down here from the lower Bollinger Band at a price of 211, come all the way up to 218. So that's about a seven to eight point move in just over 48 hours. So that kind of, you know, that kind of momentum pulled these uh, stocks back up. Only loan to behold today, they kind of pull back in a little bit. Some of these stocks finish a little flat, but if we take a look at it, why did we stop where we stopped? If we take a look and see just technically, you know, why we stopped where we stopped and kind of zoom this out a little bit here, we came in right to the 20 day moving average here. So yesterday we reclaimed the five day moving average. Today we came up into this 200, right? This is a two, this yellow line here is the 200 day simple moving average on the daily time frame. This is going to be a massive, massive level here. I think that as soon as the IWM can get a close over this, right, and then start to reclaim the 10 and the 20 day moving average at around $220, okay? So the stock price might look like this, might come up in this range, get a nice breakout, come back down, right? Because stocks just don't go straight up, come back down, test this 200 day moving average, and then bounce off higher. I think that's when we can start to see a rally in the small caps, at least for the short term. So that's definitely something that we're going to need to keep an eye on. As of right now, this low wick is down here. This price is currently around 214.57. So something to keep an eye on. If we do have a little bit of more selling pressure, um, let's say to close the week, there's only two more trading days left of the week. Let's say we come down here and we lose this 214.52 area. Okay. As fast as we reclaimed the five day moving average yesterday, we lost it. So if we start coming back down below the 214, 64, look for a move back down to 211. Okay. Just keep an eye on that. First stock that we're going to take a look at is SoFi. SoFi really hasn't done too much as of late. We did get this nice pop yesterday with the rest of the market. You can see here going back, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven downward days here. I believe in the last video I spoke, this bottom range here between this 12, 13, 14 dollar area could be potentially a good spot to load. We know that SoFi trades in these three month waves. We know currently we're in, uh, you know, six, seven weeks of this consolidation wave. So we are still expecting at least another month of consolidation before we can see SoFi significantly break out according to the history of the chart. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're going to start a new pattern uh, this year on the, on the chart. And that's something that we need to really focus on. With that being said, as long as we don't lose this low price here, $12 and 82 cents, I'm going to continue to remain in the trade. We are still trading over the five day moving average. However, gave a lot 
um, of today's move back once we got rejected at the 10 day moving average. So just keep an eye on that 1282. We do not want to lose that. If we lose that, I would reevaluate the situation. I wouldn't continue to hold your position, especially if you tried to load somewhere down in here, just due to the fact that let's keep our losses tight and then reevaluate the trade when the trade looks a lot stronger. I think that SoFi is going to look really, really strong once it gets over that 1482, $15 mark. Let's take a look at FUBU real quick. So if we take a look at FUBU, same kind of deal here, pretty much flat on a day, only down 14 cents, just not even a percentage point here. Again, you're going to notice a trend. What did the IWM yes do yesterday? What did a lot of these small caps do yesterday? So big, big move yesterday, taking out uh, previous day's highs, 1374, put in a move all the way to 1550. Okay, we did reclaim the, the five-day moving average as well as tried to make an attempt to uh, reclaim the 10-day moving average. Was rejected yesterday, which was fine. What I was looking for was a little bit of a confirmation today of that 1550, 1540, and I wanted to see a close over the 20-day moving average. So just going forward, being that we did not close, we got a little bit of a hammer candle down. Don't expect... Uh, you know, don't be surprised if we don't see a little bit more selling pressure and actually give this whole move back. Price that we're looking at here on FUBU, $12.79 is an absolute hold for me. Cannot lose that level because if we do start to lose this $12.79, we got room all the way down here to $10.25. Uh, I think for me personally, this looks a lot more appetizing as soon as we can get over $15.85. That's a 20 day moving average. Uh, as soon as we get over there, uh, over that price, we're going to have a little bit of resistance here in this $16.65 area. But even so, that's going to be a dollar move. So depending on your position sizing, you know, a dollar move on, you know, five, six, seven thousand stocks can be a five, six, seven thousand dollar move. It, ju it just depends on your position sizing. Obviously, if you take 100, 100 shares and you make $100, um, you know, it's not going to seem like a, a lot. So you're going to be forced to hold on a little bit. So any close over $16.65, you do are going to have an initial push higher. I, I could honestly see coming into that 18 and 19 dollar area uh, those are going to be two areas that we're going to have significant levels of resistance it's going to be the 50 ema it's also going to be the sloping down channel on the linear regression 50 okay so let's just quickly get into jivo and skills real quick same kind of deal, flat on the day, down four cents, four dollars and twenty-eight cents. So what we want to look at again, same pattern, right, guys? What did the IWM do yesterday? What did a lot of these small caps do yesterday? What I like, we reclaim the five-day moving average. We are rejected at the ten. What I want to see is uh, taken out is the price of four four dollars and fifty cents. Four dollars and fifty cents is going to initially take us back up here to this four sixty-nine, four seventy-two. I think that before we see any sort of significant trend change, we need to get a close over 465, 472, then a back test of around 460, and then we need to see that pop higher. That's the move that we need to see played out. This could take at least another two to three weeks before that play actually happens. Um, last stock that we're going to take a look at is skills. Same kind of deal here, down 12 cents. We see yesterday. Same deal, guys. All of these charts, if you notice, they all look the same. Why do they look the same? Because they're all pretty much following what the IWM and the, sm the rest of the small caps are doing. So if you're particularly, you know, not playing all of these stocks, maybe you're in SoFi and you're wondering, man, what's going on with the stock? Well, if you're playing FUBU, you're wondering, hey, man, what's going on with the stock? If you're playing skills, you're like, ah, what's going on with the stock? Uh, and then if you're playing all of them, you kind of understand the bigger picture. But if you've never taken a look at skills chart in the past you know, month or two, if you've never taken a look at FUBU's chart in the past month or two because you've been trading SoFi, you really think that it's, it's just your stock, your particular stock. They all kind of look the same. All of these charts are going to look the same. Skills yesterday closed over the five-day moving average, was rejected today at the 10-day moving average. What I'm looking for here on skills I want to see a confirmation and a close over the 10-day uh, moving average, $6.70. That's going to give us our best bang for the buck. At $6.70, we, we have potential into the $7 range, $7, $7.20, $7.27. So we're going to get uh, you know, a 40 to 50 cent move on that. I think the bigger move comes once we start to reclaim the 20 day moving average, that price is going to be $8 from eight to eight fifty into $9. Again, the price that we do not want to see uh, be lost is this $5 and 73 cents. If we lose $5 and 73 cents, I would exit the trade. We've got more room down to 449. This would be a potential loading zone guys. I hope that helps. 
give you guys kind of a little breakdown. Um, let me know if you guys like these videos a little bit better where I kind of break down multiple stocks in the same video versus just putting out one particular video per ticker symbol. Um, join my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.